Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, let's see, here we go. Okay, you have Guardian. A lost loved one watches over you, Virgo. Okay, let's take a look and see who is watching over you. You do have, it's kind of like an angel on your shoulder. <laughs> you do have someone who's looking after you, watching over you. You may have felt like this is always been a thing for you. Or you may be, it's kind of like, hmm... Well, that was close. Why? I feel like, Virgo, you always seem to... Um, things seem to work out for you in the long run. Okay? Because you've got someone watching out for you, watching over you. Let's take a look. Okay, the Hanged Man, a very spiritual energy. That's Piscean energy there. Okay, you've got the Three of Wands. Two of Swords. Two of Pentacles. You know, Virgo, I feel like whenever you're in a time of distress or you have decisions to make and you're not sure which way to go, it looks like, especially going forward, I feel like the message here is just wait um, for the answer to come to you because you do have someone who's watching out for you and I do see a, a bit of conflict in your mind. I feel like there's this do I or don't I. There's this energy of should I or shouldn't I. Should I stay or should I go? Should I just wait? Um, it looks like the message here is for you with the hangman to be patient. Um, let things reveal. Let the answers be revealed to you. In regards to a particular situation, whether that's regarding your love life, whether that's regarding your health or your career, there is a message here of patience and waiting for the answer to come to you. All right, let me see what else do you need to know, Virgo. You could be waiting on a Pisces <clears throat> or some type of connection with a Pisces. Okay, you've got Aquarius here as well, so the Fool. Ooh, you've got the world. The start of the new year, Virgo, feels like um, a breaking free energy. It feels like whatever has you, if you're feeling trapped or you're feeling stuck, you're not sure what to do, the beginning of the new year, there's a whole new horizon in front of you that you're going to be able to actually, I feel like before this year is up, of course, maybe the last week of Christmas of December, you will receive the answer that you need in order to take action and go in the direction that you need to go, which is going after your ninth cup, which is going after your, your wishes, hopes, and your dreams, whatever that might be, okay? So you're going to get this sense of freedom because whomever's watching over you, whoever's looking after you at this time, um, for some of you, it could be a Pisces, it could be an Aquarius. For others, it could also be a Leo, uh, a Scorpio, a Taurus. There you go, you've got the sun. So I'm feeling a real strong, bright, positive step forward in this new year. But I feel like from now, the time you're listening to this reading, going forward through the end of December, you're being asked to wait. It will be revealed. The answer that you need will be revealed. Um, you're protected. Like I said, you've got somebody looking out uh, somebody watching over you. And let me see if we can try and see maybe a little confirmation spirit on who is watching over Virgo. Okay. It may be someone. I will say someone who's passed away. Okay. Um, but a very tragic. It feels like a, someone who's passed away in a very tragic way. Um, yes, 
definitely. I'm picking up some rest in peace vibes here for sure. Um, that person's at peace. I will tell you there's no pain. There's no, um, there's no pain, but there was some kind of tragic, tragic way that this person who's watching over you uh, had to deal with before moving on into the afterlife. So they may have had, um, they may, they might have been poor. They suffered from some kind of financial problem. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be tragic, physically tragic. It could have been more of a mental thing that happened to them. Um, Someone who is part of your family, or you might might have been married to this person. Yes. Um, uh, I, I it, That's really what they're giving me here. Uh, male, uh, masculine or feminine energy, Virgo. This person is. They're very much looking after you right now. You might not even realize this. Yeah, I see you feeling very trapped here with the Eight of Swords. This feels more like a mental, mentally trapped. Trying to be strong. I do get a sense that, yeah, you're going to be out of this, Virgo the end of this year going into the new year and you also have new love coming in a blessing a new beginning happening here for you you will get your strength back because of this person or this being who's looking after you and believe me there are things here that are not happening to you because of this person so you might not even realize, you know, um, you're driving down the road, you realize that you forgot something at home, you turn around, you come back to get it, you leave, you go back down that road to your destination, and then there's this huge car pile up that happened minutes after you realized you forgot something at home and went back. These are things that... These are instances that you're being protected from by this person and i feel like this person wants you to uh, they're trying to lead you in a direction of freedom they may free themselves from watching over you once you have this uh, new love beginning in your life because you may feel lonely or feel like you're in a place of desolation or just feel like patterns keep repeating and you can't seem to break yourself out of them um now i don't know if this person has recently passed away or at some point in your life prior to this but they are showing up in december more strongly than ever okay yeah this person is going to um how can i say this try to uh, they're helping you to gain your strength back to get strong um the ten of cups with the ace of cups from start to finish they bring a blessing of love and happiness and joy harmony contentment peace and a happily ever after kind of energy here so for those of you who are feeling there's a lack of love in your life I feel like this, the person who's watching over you is um, leading you in the direction to be present for uh, love to come in, okay? They may even bring someone or be influencing someone to come in. It could even be a Leo for some of you. Healing, I'm hearing healing. Okay, seven of pentacles, six of wands, three of pentacles. Okay, there is a connection also. This person, this guardian, this angel 
is connected to some uh, a school or teaching or learning um, business money apprenticeship savings and investments so there is a connection um, if you are someone who is trying to attain some kind of certificate or an award of some sort uh, related to money or school I feel like um, they're saying that you're going to receive this for all of your studying and your learning, um, what you put into practice. You also have, yeah, you've got the High Priestess and you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so, wow, Virgo. This High Priestess energy gives me really strong vibes that you, if you are thinking about what to do with your career, or ways to make money, um, you'll be afforded an opportunity and a gift um, to do something along the lines of um, deep e esoteric work, um, things that are hidden, things that are behind the veil um, that aren't often seen. Um, they're saying your intuitive gifts will bring you opportunities, okay? And um, yeah, I just feel like this this guardian angel, this person is has been and will continue to be, and it'll be more evident um, to protect in protection, protecting protecting you. And and I also heard that um, you can ask this this guardian angel. You can ask for the name and wait. It will be revealed to you. They are ready to tell you who they are or to give you some type of inclination of who they are exactly. I do see someone here with dark hair. Could have been uh, naturally dark or um, maybe in their lifetime changed their hair color. But I see a, a very dark hair. And I'm also, they're giving me the word spring. Something to do with, with the season. Spring. Um... Uh, they're giving me the color green as well. And and I'm also picking up a lot of stuffed animals. Uh, I'm, I'm picking up like um, uh, stuffed animals like teddy bears and bunny rabbits and things like that. Uh, those types of uh, stuffed animals. I see. Okay. There's healing of a conflict as well between two people so perhaps you and another person um there's there was a lot of defensive energy challenges and conflict either with you and this this person who has passed on or um just in your life with someone else in particular and i feel like there's um a coming together an acceptance a meeting of the minds an agreement there's a start of something new happening here in love as well oh gosh you have the knight of pen of knight of cups i'm sorry there's a there's a charity and giving there's also a proposal um an offer of love and they're giving me strong green energy again that color and some purple there's a healing so yeah there's love coming in for sure and and i do feel like um it's coming in the new year there's a new a blessing. Some of you will actually be, and I've said this in my um, year 2024 reading that is on my channel there. You can go back and check that out as I go month by month. But I, I did feel like um, there will be no more looking for love or waiting. It will be happening in 2024 for sure. And a lot of it has to do with this, excuse me, this guardian angel energy, someone who is watching out for you. Definitely. So, um, yeah, that's amazing. Um, what a beautiful message that you have someone looking out for you. So beautiful. 